Yeah, that's what's going on. Wait. Whoa! No, you don't have biceps. <laughs> Put those biceps away. <laughs> Put those biceps away, he says. Another. Pumped up. That was actually no pump. Believe yeah. it or not. Not pumped up. Delicious intro to Massive Joe's Weekly Word, episode 160. Nevos. 160 there. You know what inspired me to do that as the intro? Uh, I was training in. Uh, I know that you're not going to know, but go ahead. Try and guess. And you trained them last night? You got a good pump? No, I did train them last night. No, but I was training in our new, yet to be released, still in prototype mm-hmm. version, mm-hmm. our oversized um, warm up team. Yeah. And I was, try- I was fucking around with the sleeves because the sleeves on them, are like, they're, they're weird. So I like rolled the sleeves up to get a bit of bicep out and it th- th- was good. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. Nice. And so it just reminded me, you know, for the weekly word intro, because I haven't done a bicep for like probably 50 episodes. Yeah, no, it's you been haven't. A while. It's fuck, it's been we, a while. we've all been missing it. We've all been waiting for it. <laughs> You're a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Topics of discussion, me. Back in stock, new products coming soon. What's up? Master Joe's challenge. Champions, fuck, that's a long one. Yeah, you, you don't need to put, you don't, I'm just going to say message challenge. Yep, cool. Annual warehouse sale, online apparel, clearance sale, Ask Neve. Jam-packed episode of Massive Joe's Weekly Word for you guys this week. Six questions for Ask Neve, six of the best long questions. Mm. So we're going to need some time for Ask Neve. So let's fly through the topics of discussion, starting with the first topic of discussion, Neve. Back in stock. Probably. Oh, speaking of fucking back in stock, have you seen... Some final work from Robbie. I mean, what the fuck? I know you're not a, you're not a fan of the clay, are you? No. You were giving me not, shit no. about like. No. You're not. What did you say in Sup Wars earlier today? I don't know. I believe there's something about there's jizz on your ear. No, mm-hmm. no, because it's like about airing. Because you left half on your earlobe. On the back? No, it was on the. It wasn't something about me. It was on the fucking earlobe, mate. It was fucking drooping. It was on the top of my ear, on the back of my ear, ear because because the the clay. No, I think it's. I don't like it because I think it's too thick. You don't. You put too much in. I really don't though. You do. Look at it, the back of it. I think because the hair is like it's too thick. It's like soaks the shit. I don't know what it is. Anyway, some of Robbie's finest. Well, I do need to go see him next week, though. I'm seeing him tonight. It's too many. It's been it's been two weeks now, I'm, and it's been next week. Gonna be three. Too many weeks, man. I thought I'm going in there. Not mainly for my hair. I just like seeing him for all. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest. Beautiful anyway. man. He's a beautiful man. F- he is a very beautiful attractive, man. Attractive. Very attractive. First topic of discussion: knee. Back in stock. Hit him, baby. As uh, Primark's Warfare ripped both flavors. Mm-hmm. Primabolic's grind are both flavours. And both of those flavours pos- across both of those products are strawberry kiwi and pineapple. Mm-hmm. The, uh, well, the, the Warfare Rips, a little bit more detail, is the uh, pre-workout fat burner. Yep. Or fat burner pre-workout. Mm-hmm. The Splice product. I like to call it Primabolic Splice. Yeah. Because it's a splice between two products. Yep. And the uh, Primabolic's <laughs> grind is the stimulant-free pre-workout. Mm-hmm. Complete stimulant-free pre-workout. Yeah. That we actually just did in Supple earlier did. today. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rule one gain both flavors. Uh, the lean gainer from rule one back in stock in chocolate and vanilla. Rule one LBS. Where does chocolate go, Big Neve? Uh, not to your biceps. Straight to the biceps. <sighs> when you ready? Uh, rule one LBS <laughs> both flavors. The uh, mass gainer 1300, 13, 1200 calories. 12, Let's go 1250. Let's meet halfway. A lot of fucking calories. Uh, mass gainer from rule one, also available in chocolate. Both of them are also available in the Massive Joe's retail stores. Yes, they've been rolled out across all 10 Massive Joe's retail stores, both products in both flavors. Uh, Extend Beast of Blades, all flavors, all sizes? All flavors, all sizes of Extend, which is no longer, it's no longer Salvation, right? It's just Extend now. I don't know. They dropped the Salvation. Have they officially done it, have they? I think it's still on the labels, but they're calling it Extend. Yeah. Anyway, the OG Extend BCAAs, all all flavors, all sizes. Inspired Ember, all flavors? I didn't actually realize it sold out. This just fucking launched. Mm. And like sold out straight away and is now back in stock in all flavors. Next topic on- Wait, Axel Sledge just hit the warehouse. Axel Sledge. This is why you get called out in the comments. Why? Because you get called out for lying to the people. You just lied to the people. It's not in the fucking warehouse. It'll be here by five o'clock. It's supposed to be in the warehouse later on today. But you know what I say, mate? Do not overpromise and underdeliver. But really, by the time this goes live, it will definitely be in the yeah. warehouse. Axel Sledge, back in stock. Everything. All products. All flavors, all sizes, Axe and Sledge, everything, including the all new. Um, what's new? 
No, you didn't get anything new. No. Wasn't that elbow grease coming? Or is that next no, shipment? No, that's not. Right. Might be next shipment. Anyway, Axe and Sledge back in stock. All products, yeah. all sizes, all flavors, everything. Yep. Next topic of discussion, Nee. New products. Hit them, baby. So, Primabolic Grind, as mm. Joey just said, the uh, Primabolic's stim free pre workout. Now available in the Massive Joe's Limited Edition Red Frogs. And it is fucking delicious. It's actually called Massive Joe's Red Frogs. It's actually called Massive Joe's Red Frogs, and it is red frog flavor, and it tastes like liquid red frogs. Mm. Red frogs. Red frogs. They ground you up in there, did they? <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. fuck, that was good. Nah, bravo. <laughs> bravo. Nah, round of applause for me. <laughs> Red flog, yep. <laughs> they ground me up and put me in the tub. Man. Exactly, <laughs> exactly <laughs> what they did. <laughs> fuck. Oh, man. Anyway, it uh, is delicious. It's, uh, it's, they, they have it's nailed uh, that flavour and it is available in their stimulant-free, complete free mm. workout grind from Primabolics. We uh, just did a sub pause as you mentioned a couple of times yeah. now, but when you bro punch the lid in mm. and you're actually like the, the powder wafted into the air, it actually mm. just smelled like red frogs. Mm. It was fucking... You could, you could taste it through, the, through smelling it. Very impressed. It's fucking, it's that good. Uh, MJ Micro Scales. Micro Scales in stock along with <coughs> MJ Fill and Go Funnels and MJ Body Tape Measures. All of our new uh, Massive Joe's merchandise accessories are finally in stock and they have their own category on our website. So link is in the description box. I can't remember what the link is, but it's in the description box and all the uh, accessories and future accessories coming soon will be at that link. Mm -hmm. Next topic of discussion. E. Coming soon. Hit him, baby. Uh, EHP Labs Oxytrade Hardcore. Next week. Uh, yeah, probably Monday. Should be here next week, early next week. Um, Team J Apparel, Team J Array train towers next week. Uh, actually, they might even be live now, mm. depending on when this video goes live. If they're not live now, they'll be live very, very soon. Along with? Team J Apparel arm blasters next week. Also launching next week. Next topic of discussion. Actually, is, should we mention, I was going to put this on here. Should we mention the, um, the energy drink, drink shipment that's coming next week? Because it's technically not like a new product, but like it's... Well, three, yeah, 3D Energy will be here again next week. Coming back in stock. In also the all new orange flavor. Orange flavor. Is dropping as well. So that is actually coming soon. Yeah. Next week, 3D Energy restocked, finally. And also, just quickly, a full restock of Core. Yes. Nothing new on that, though. But just a full, full restock. restock. Full back in stocks. Next topic of discussion. What's up? Hit them, baby. <laughs> um, I can go if you need time yeah, to there think. there you go. I do you think what I've been training on this week? Because I have um, recently, and this has just came to mind because I just ran out yesterday and I went and restocked. Mm -hmm. And that's always a good sign. When I run out of something and the, the day I run out, I go and restock the next day, you know that the shit's legit. Yep. Peak X from yeah. Core. One of my favorite, it is honestly, when it comes to muscle power, and so if you're into like powerlifting or you measure progress by progressive overload or you just want to be a strong motherfucker like me, mm. peak X is the shit. Mm -hmm. Like legit the shit. Like I can go, you remember back when Muscle Tech used to do that fucking um, Gakic? Yeah. You remember Gakic? And it was like within the first dose it increases your strength by I don't know, 200% or some yeah. bullshit Muscle Tech claim. I can actually tell the difference in strength mm. The day that I take peak X yep. and the day that I don't take peak X. Mm. It's that quick. It is amazing. Nice. I'm a big fan. So if you are interested in, and it does a bunch of other shit as well, muscle pump, anti-fatigue, blah, 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 all that shit. But for me in particular, muscle power, if you're looking for something to increase muscle power in your workouts, you need to be out in peak X, man. They're two scoop dose. Mm -hmm. Big fan. Mine is Ghost Way Peanut Butter Cereal Milk. <laughs> Is that the tub under my yeah, desk? Yeah, fucking delicious. Did you help yourself to it? Yeah, when you're a little bit oh, late to work, mate, fuck. snooze, you lose. Hit the snooze button one too many times. Unbelievable. Every time you hit snooze button, you lose a scoop of ghost wave. Unbelievable. You've been helping yourself. <laughs> so you've been helping yourself to my utopia. Yeah. You've been helping yourself to my ghost way. Yeah. You've been taking scoops of my Patriots way. I've seen you, motherfucker. <laughs> have you? Yeah, no, nah, yeah, you way. have. Don't lie. Fuck, what else have you been helping yourself to? No, you've been using my peanut butter. I've been using peanut butter that I can get from across the road at Coles for like five bucks a jar. You've been helping yourself to all of my exclusive shit. I saw you eating my blueberries. No, that were my blueberries. You have been eating out of the Woolworths brand one, which is I went over no, to Foodland because I no, went down to Foodland no. because I thought I'd trick you, motherfucker. No. no. 
I did. Listen, mate, sharing is caring. I went to the food or land. Family. No, I, there's over across the road. There's a Coles and a food land. And I walked further to the food land the other day because I went to Westpac Extra real cardio. quickly. Yeah, I went to yeah. Westpac and I thought I would just yeah. pop in here. Yeah. yeah, pop in here. See what blueberries they have. And I bought one because I had a bigger one kilo bag. Yeah. So I thought this would be good. I'm going to use a little test. Yeah. Every time I walk in, there's Joe who helped himself for the little food land bag. Was it the Welch's? The Welch's yeah, those ones. Yeah. 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 Well, they are good blueberries, <laughs> I must say. Probably <laughs> All right, extra good because they're yours. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, ghost way peanut butter zero remove. Fantastic flavour. <laughs> Next topic of discussion. Then. Master Joe's Challenge Champions voting is open. So the Master Joe's Challenge now finished. The April Challenge. April Challenge. Started in April, just finished last week. And the voting has just opened. Mm -hmm. uh, how long is it open for? It's open until the end of June. Also so a week and a little bit. Yeah. Not yeah. two each week. So. Yeah. A week and a half, yeah. Mm. So uh, you can go on there, register uh, your email address, everything, and, and vote mm -hmm. as to who you think is the winner of the Master Joe's Challenge. And there's one winner per category. So there's female uh, build muscle, female fat loss, male build muscle, and male fat loss. So you get to vote for one person in each of the four categories. Mm -hmm. So actually cast four votes. One person in each of the four categories. And at the end of June, at the end of the voting period, we will tally up the votes and we will award to four people, the title of Massive Joe's Challenge Champion, which carries with it the prize pack, mm. which is $500 cash, $500 worth of TMJ apparel wardrobe, uh, return flights and one night's accommodation here in the ADL for the Massive Joe's MJHQ experience. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fucking amazing, mm -hmm. which is why we need you guys to cast votes, mm -hmm. because you need to tell us who deserves the prizes. Yep. Massive Joe's Challenge Champions. Mm -hmm. Link is in the description box. Make sure you hit that link and go cast your votes. Takes like 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Fast as shit. And the transformations are. Um, well, that was the issue. I wouldn't amazing. say. I, I'm going to. I'm going to call you out on this one. Okay. Because it didn't take 30 seconds. Because I didn't know who to vote for. Oh. Because okay. I was scrolling down, and especially Close. was it the women's fat loss and the men's fat loss? Yeah. Um, those uh, two yeah. Those two particular categories. Is I was scrolling down. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to vote this person. Mm. Then I kept scrolling down. Now I'm going to vote this person. Mm. And then it got to the bottom. I'm like, fuck. Who am I going to pick out of those four people? Yeah. Like, well, that were. I mean, everyone did extremely well, and there's... there's it's hard to pick winners, man, because some of the transformations are fucking amazing. So, um, yeah, but it was... It was it, well, I don't think it would take you 30 seconds, because it wasn't quite a quick... It depends how long cut. you deliberate for. But, yeah, if you're Juries deliberate for days. Yeah. You know? It might, take you, it, might take you, it might take you days. Realistically, it'll take you 30 <laughs> seconds to vote, but it could take you three days. To make up your mind. Yeah. Because you only get to vote once. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, with great power comes great responsibility. Mm. So use it wisely. Mm. Next topic of discussion, the annual warehouse sales. So this uh, Saturday, June yep. 22nd, yep. 10 a.m. till 4 p.m., we have our annual messages clearance warehouse sale. It's gone down, guys. You've heard it in the last three episodes, so we're not going to dwell on it too much today. Link is in the description box. Make sure you reserve your ticket on the Facebook event so we know how many of you motherfuckers is coming. It's currently sitting over 400 people. It's going to be fucking nuts. First come, first serve on all of the blowout supplement and blowout apparel specials. So make sure you don't miss it. Make sure you get here early. Link is in the description box. Reserve, reserve your spot now. It's funny because I was talking to a couple of people at the gym about it. Yeah. They're, they're getting here at 6 a.m. No, they said they'll get there at 7 a.m. Because uh. they said they got there at 7 a.m. last year and they're going to get there at 7 a.m. again. So That's how you get the best. And I did. I went through with Scooter yesterday and did some of the pricing. Mm. And like some of the products, I'm just like, man, mm. I'm, go I'm going to go buy some of this shit. I, I don't want to give myself. out. I don't want to give no too way. much away, but I'm saying there are like MTS ways. Too much away? Is that what you're saying? Give too much away, but like there's things like too much away. There's stuff like ten, uh, mass, uh, fuck, MTS way, mm -hmm. America Energy cans, mm -hmm. Slabs America Energy. Rule one. Rule one. Those kind of brands. We're not just talking brands that we have one or two tubs of. We're talking about actual brands that are in demand mm. that we're discounting heavily mm -hmm. for this sale as well. So it's not just like leftover I'm shit. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'm just going to do the cat. Keep talking. I'm just doing the cat. So, yeah. So, it's not just stuff that we have like a few tubs left or, or those kind of things. We actually have, yeah, MTS Way. So, um, we, we have a, a one particular flavor of MTS Way that's 45% off. 60-ish hmm. bucks. That would work out. Too. Yeah. Like, you're never going to see that. It's never going to happen. So but yeah. it's happening mm. on Saturday. Everyone who's not going to be there is going to be pissed right but now. Forty-five percent of them, motherfuckers. I'm not going to say what the special is, but the America Labs, yeah. America, oh, sorry, America Energy Can, red wine, yeah. blue can special, yeah. is my particular favourite for the day. Yeah, I'm going to pick up a couple of subs myself. I think you, I think everyone should. 
I'm gonna pick up a pallet myself. Mm. Fuck it. Yeah. Next topic of discussion. Uh, online apparel clearance sale. Still going, man. It's still going, and we are flying through our discontinued apparel items. Man, so much apparel going out. Mm. All over the world as well. Yep. It's just gone crazy. Mm -hmm. Link is in the description box. Graphic is on the slide at the moment. Do not miss, guys, our online annual apparel clearance sale. First come, first serve. A bunch of shit sold out already, but there's still a bunch of bargains in there for you guys. Up to 60% off discontinued apparel items. Mm -hmm. Next topic of discussion, Neve. Ask Neve. Six questions for Ask Neve this week. Let's get straight into them, starting with Gums13. Hey guys, it's Stu from Ebblevale. South Wales in the UK. Looking forward to the next Massive Joe's Challenge. We'll definitely be doing that one. Um, just on that, Stu, we're actually thinking about moving it forward. So usually it starts in September. We're thinking about starting it towards the end of August. So it might actually come forward a couple mm -hmm. of weeks. My question this week is, do either of you guys do one-to-one -one online coaching? Thanks in advance. Stu. Mm. Um, I used to, but I don't mm. um, because I don't have enough time for it. Yeah. The one of the things that I personally really don't like about online coaching and, and people that are influencers or Instagram kind of people that mm. sell that sell plans and those kind of things is yeah. um, they don't really give people value for money. Mm. And I'm not saying Explain. That, Explain. I'm not saying that they need to. Um, be sort of like spending beyond beck and call every single day and all mm -hmm. those kind of things. But 24 hour on call. Just I think a lot of people do money. Tell them, money. Tell them. Give me the example because I know where you're going. With no, this. like money is 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 it doesn't come easy. Yeah. And people are forking out their hard earned money for 50, 60 buck plans or whatever it is yeah. a week. Um, some people are paying less for that, but then really not getting what they're pay paying for. Yeah. Or what they're charging. Yeah. Um, and I think it's just. I, it really depends on, on the value that that person is giving back. Mm -hmm. But for me personally, I just can't put into uh, the amount of time or uh, effort needed to be able to warrant me charging someone for my time mm. for one-on-one -on -one PT. Mm. Um, I used to do my 10-week programs um, and I used to charge, I think, a fair fee. Mm -hmm. And it was just sort of $20 a week yep. uh, if you work that out. Yep. Um, but the thing is, I, I was on, um, yeah, contact 24 7 mm -hmm. the other thing is but the people but even still is, is you kind of like fuck am i actually giving back enough to, mm -hmm. to these people um am I, am I doing everything i can be yeah um and yeah that, that's the issue i find is and i it got to that stage where i'm like fuck i really don't think i'm giving back enough mm -hmm. and that was just looking at myself it's like yeah I, and, and i get hit up three or four times a week about this in my DM, like, especially now sort of started strength training again, there's people like, can you write me a program? Mm. And I just say no to people. Because, mm. yeah, I just don't think that I can provide the value, value um, that people need yeah. and that I think I'd want to give them to be mm. putting my name against something. Yeah. That's fair. I used to do contest prep coaching, Stu, and I don't anymore either. <coughs> Uh, mainly because I was like working all the fucking time between mm. Massive Joe's and do it. That was literally my Sundays. Mm. I used to spend my the whole day Sundays doing all of my client programming, and I never had more than ten. Like my, I capped it at ten clients, mm. but I was just like, holy fuck, man! Like I, I'm actually like, I need to just give my brain a break. Mm. So that's why I stopped doing it, and I was getting stupidly expensive too, mm. which you know people were paying it, but. Yeah. So, yeah, we both don't do it anymore. Mm. Martin Zumski. What's happening, Martin? Hello, big boys. This is Marty Zumski from San Diego, which means? Wales, Ghana. In California, mm. US of A. No, I think it means St. Diego. <laughs> Looking forward to TMJ in the USA. Is it going to happen this year? If so, I hope our paths will cross. My question. If each supplement you take came in either a four capsule serving or a powder, which form would you choose and why? As always, thank you and stay massive. Uh, it really depends on what the product is and I think that yeah. pretty much everything I take is how I'd want it anyway. Yeah. Um, things such as a pre-workout, I enjoy drinking while I'm driving to the gym. Mm -hmm. um, Topes. Utopia, I enjoy drinking it because of the flavor. Mm -hmm. um, 
intro workout beef fillets. I like it because of the flavour to be drinking yeah, on. Like I think anything that tastes good in powder, yeah. you'd prefer to have in powder. Like protein powder. And things that taste shit in powder, you'd prefer to have in capsules. There's a lot of things, obviously, that I take in the morning, such yeah. as, like, your, uh, I think about the ATP range. Yeah. That kind of stuff, though, is, mm. is easy just to take. All right, here's my five or six containers or whatever it is. Yeah, just pop them pills. Yeah, it's a lot easier to take pills than... Pill than popping. Having to have yeah, powders for all those. I'm struggling with like my frame position, mm. framing. The, I think this chair's too far away. Yeah. My legs are fucking sore. But legs. I think especially with how, how good the flavours are these days in yeah. most products, I mean, it's I prefer drinking it. I, I think I think as uh, we said just then quickly, but if like in the morning, if you're taking like Core Test, Core Hard, mm. MTS Greens, Core Flex, if um, you're stacking powders, you start Ambrosia yeah, Nectar. Yeah. That's like my morning. You've seen my morning. Well, I have, I have. It's but fucking disgraceful. Yeah, but like stuff like that, after a while, I was like, fuck, this would be good if I could yeah. just have like pills, but yeah. 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 Ryan B01. Hey guys, Ryan from London in the UK. I'm currently waiting to see a surgery specialist on my shoulder as I have dislocated it six times in the past three years. That's once every six months yeah. on average. After the surgery, I will likely be out of the gym for at least six months in terms of lifting weights. Before my last dislocation, I've been trying to lose fat and had not yet reached my goal. In my time out of the gym, should I continue to do cardio and watch my calories as I'm already going to lose muscle anyway from not being able to train? Is there anything else I can do while out of the gym for a prolonged period of time to keep in decent shape? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you don't, there's no reason just because you've got a sore shoulder or a dislocated shoulder that you can't do it, just all together stop exercising. Yeah. I mean, you've got your bike, you've got your treadmill, mm. you've got your cross training, you can do one-handed, you've got your Stairmaster. And train legs. Train legs. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, by any kind of leg, you look at the, the gym, there's leg press, mm. leg extension, hamstring curl, laying hamstring curl, seated mm. hamstring curl, there's that many different leg exercises. Mm. Hack squat, you don't need two hands for. Mm -hmm. That many different exercises you can do that are so many yeah the plus as I said all those different variations of it just change your training up yeah um yeah just do your cardio yeah there's no reason you can't get a shape there's probably if anything you'd probably get into better shape i know that if i all of a sudden couldn't uh do any upper body or whatever mm -hmm. i mean yeah you'd sort of want to change your stuff up a bit and you'd go bored so you'd want to do something and if that would be walking or mm -hmm. or those kind of things i mm -hmm. think i think it would almost i'd almost get in better shape if i had a sore shoulder to be honest yeah because i wouldn't just go to your arms or biceps or yep. shoulders or i would agree luke nelson luke hasn't told us where's where's luke from uh okay. geelong luke nelson from geelong victoria in australia gentlemen what are the pros and cons of swapping in a fish like cod into my diet any tips on the reheat ability stuff is going to stank up a microwave Cheers, fellas. I honestly fucking never eat fish. So. I'm allergic to seafood, so I don't eat anything that swims. Not a single thing. I like Not a single fucking swimming thing. You read like fucking people saying that they take fish because it thins out the thins skin. The, skin the, the fuck the out of here, man. Are you serious? The people actually believe that shit. I literally, you guys have seen me, when I get in contest shape, I get fucking peeled. No question about it. I actually posted a posing video today mm. on Instagram. I've never eaten seafood in a contest prep. Never. I've never had fish, never had tuna. That's another one. Yeah. People eat, they eat mussels and shit. I don't fucking know. But Salmon is a big one. I do not eat seafood. I've never had fish in a contest prep. And I have no problem with thinning out the skin. But if you're worried, about, like, if you're worried about how it's going to taste or you don't like the taste of it, it's a light protein. You're worried about how it's going to... The fuck is a light? light? How's Can you tell me what a light protein is? What is a light protein? It's heavy on the stomach, I guess. Maybe it's because so of colour. So what's the difference between a fucking fish protein and chicken, for example? No. Explain that to well, me. Red meat does sit heavier in your stomach. Yeah, red meats. But let's talk about like yeah, white I don't meats. Know. I don't know. Let's talk about pork. Let's talk about chicken. I honestly don't know. Let's talk about baby back ribs. I... I, I <laughs> I understand bodybuilding comp preps, obviously, and I've dieted before, yeah, not, to, well, yeah. not to a comp prep level. I've never understood the fish thing. But yeah, I've never understood like I've swapping to fish, fish or thing. all those kind of things. I mean, it, at the end of the day, you're aiming to hit macros, 
palate. Like I'm, I'm the king of the bros, so I'm all about bro science. But the fish thing has never made sense to me. Plus, I don't understand. Obviously, it comes, and I've just said with dieting, it comes down to making a few sacrifices. But if you fucking hate fish, don't eat fish. You don't need to eat fish. Eat chicken. Eat turkey. Eat whatever baby. it may be. Baby, probably don't eat baby. But baby, the other other white meat. Yeah, we have got all the movie quotes today. Anchorman, mm. Austin Powers. I love it. Devin Foley. Hey guys, Devin from San Jose, California. Did you know Devin? And uh, oh no, no. Let's just just cut that out. Yeah, yeah I do. Devin, yeah. San something, California. Yeah. Devin Foley from San Jose in Cali, US of A. What used to be or currently is your biggest headache when it comes to the apparel side of the business? Um, just. Yeah. With a lot of the apparel, obviously, mm. a lot of it's made overseas as well. All of it's made overseas. Um, and the issue is just quality mm. is the biggest thing. I think your biggest headache is the difference between um, samples mm. and mass production runs. I haven't had much luck with samples. You've had all sorts, because they'll send like a production sample. And they're spot on. And they're bang on, and then they'll go to mass production, and it's like, this is not the sample you sent. Yeah. Like, not even fucking close. That's that's probably yeah you mine, fucks. and then just yeah like you. It's easy to look at something, a picture of something, and then when you get it, it just doesn't fit well, and it doesn't yeah. feel like it's meant to, and yeah, yeah, and and just quality mm. is another big thing. Like just yeah, mm. I mean Leah does very well with like all the the t-shirts and, and those kind of things because yeah. once you get a good supplier, it's easy. I think, but I think that's the biggest headache is finding a good supplier. Finding good suppliers, yeah, and we've been through a fuck ton <laughs> to mm. get to where we are today. Last question this week. It's going to our friend Pierre, AKA the buff Bobcat, of course. Hey there, brothers and I. Pierre here from Chester in the UK. That's without the man, mm. that's just Chester. Sorry for the poor show last week. I lost track of time and apologize. Well, that's why you didn't get the last fucking question, Pierre. Mm. Hope you're both well and killing it at a massive Joe's. My question is a throwback to when I visited HQ in March. Joe, you mentioned product being okay in the warehouse at high temperatures and that it was the cold that was more harmful. Can you elaborate as I always thought it was the opposite way around and maybe tell the Weekly Word viewers of a fun custom story where product arrived not in the conditions it was meant to. Kind of two questions I know, uh, but I'm cheekily making up for last week. Still missing the ADL, stay massive and thank you, Pierre. I mean, like a lot of the cold is just due to like mo moisture getting into the product. Yeah, is a is a big thing. Well, I was when I was talking to Pierre, I wasn't. I was. I was. Um, when here at, at Massive Joe's, so we get really hot days here in the ADL. We're talking like it gets forty five degrees, which is one hundred and twenty Fahrenheit. It gets super fucking hot. But our warehouse is obviously insulated. So our warehouse gets hot, but not that hot. So it probably maxes out. I think Bosch used to have a fucking thermometer. I guess fucking hot out of there. No, it does, but it's not like cooking shit. Mm. But then I was like, the big problem, not necessarily for us, is if you have warehouses in places where it fucking snows. Yeah. And it's like minus, you know, 10 degrees. Mm. That's fucked. But we don't have that problem. Yeah. We're pretty lucky, to be honest. Yeah. I think most of the issues of moisture getting into products yeah. um, and, and those kind of things is more so just in the, in the delivery to us, mm. so on the trucks and, and mm. in the shipping containers. Mm. And, I mean, you think of a shipping container, Pierre, is everything comes from America or wherever it comes from, mm. but it sits on the back of a ship for six to eight weeks. Yeah. I mean, there's no, uh, instead of being inside of shipping container and, and boxes, mm. I mean, yeah, there's no real temperature control on those kind of things either. Mm. I'm not sure what the temperature's like out in the middle of the Pacific. Mm. To be specific, I'm not sure. Well, it gets really hot in fucking summer and it gets really cold in winter. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, most most uh, companies now are pretty up to date with yeah. like the moisture pads and those kind of things in there. But we still have the odd issue. But we still have issues with pumping again, and those kind of things. I mean, we had a couple of uh, shipments of core burn yeah. that landed and we couldn't sell them mm. because they were just too clumped up. Yeah. They were fucked. So they landed and we were like, oh, we still have a stock mm. of core burn. We need to reorder that shit. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Oh, you had a second question? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, sorry. I missed that one. Maybe tell the Weekly Word viewers of a fun custom story where product arrived not in the conditions it was meant to. Where do we have that happen? Products arriving not in the conditions they're meant to. Yeah. 
Not you, really from you get the odd, systems. You get the odd You get the odd damage tub, but that's mostly just from transport or squash boxes. Or I'm thinking, did we tell Pierre a, a story that he wants us to repeat? Yeah, I'm not sure. Probably told him in confidence, motherfucker. <laughs> Who wants us to make that shit public? I can't think. Come of on, Pierre. I honestly can't think of anything we've what had the hell? customs though. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm pulling up blanks as well. We have a few tubs, more so domestic, with like mm. the truck drivers, with the boxes and and squash Falling boxes. Falling off the back or, of a truck. Oh, but yeah, those and kind the of truck things. driver rolls up jacked as fuck. <laughs> like, yeah, right. Yeah. Sure, it fell off. So um, <laughs> sure, it was missing. Yeah. Help themselves to that shit. Yeah. What happens? Big Neve. Do you have anything else you would like to add before I tell the viewers? to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on both on your mobile, your cell phone, and your desktop PC so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Guys, that is Massive Joe's Weekly Word, episode 160. Until next week, where we come to and from Neve. MassiveJoe's.com. Stay. Thank you for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.